But truly, it is such a pleasure and a joy to be together as a worshiping community. The summer has come and gone. We have spent time in toil, in gardens, at our jobs. We have spent time in idleness on playgrounds and lakes. Drawn from the pursuits of our individual lives, we come together again as one body. The summer and its attendant wildness is over. The early signs of fall are all around us, and so we gather. Now, I wanted to call this homily, Why Do We Keep Doing This? <laughs> But I was worried that that sounded a little cynical, especially from someone in her second year of ministry. <laughs> and I know that if I print that title, it would sound like this. Why do we keep doing this? But what I mean, hold on, you're going to find out. That's a setup. <laughs> but what I mean by that phrase is actually much softer in an earnest inquiry. Why do we keep doing this? Yeah. <laughs> we know that we are not all here for the same reason. We have a variety of beliefs and disbelief. We come from different backgrounds, from different perspectives. And some of us, I hear, have found that there are others of us who are not easy to get along with. <laughs> Yet we keep coming back and building this community. And so I wonder, what is at the core of Unitarian Universalist congregation? If we all believe, think, and feel differently, why do we have churches, fellowships, and societies? What keeps us coming back? week after week, year after year. There are a lot of ways to answer that question. UU congregations are kaleidoscopes, full of light, full of wonder, some things you didn't expect, and always and forever changing. What we see depends on when we look, and what we expect to find. And I believe that to be true of all UU congregations, and I believe that to be true of this UU congregation. We are a kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. So our answers about why we keep doing this will depend upon our particular <coughs> glimpse of the objects and the light. And that being said, as I've wrestled with this question of what brings us together as a religious community, here and now in our specific context, what brings us into this particular year, I keep coming to the same slightly annoying conclusion. Yeah. I think, I think that it's hope. And I know that that might sound hokey. And I kept trying to dismiss that answer and to look for something else, something a little deeper and more theologically profound. But it kept working its way back up the list of possible questions. I think that it's hope that keeps us coming back. Or at least that's what feels most compelling in this particular point of our kaleidoscopic journey. We as a people, have hope. Maybe not individually all the time. And that's why we come here, to seek hope. And even in so doing, we demonstrate, we have hope that we will find some hope, right? We are a people of hope. We participate in this community as an expression of and a building of hope. We hope to be in the company of like-minded people who are different enough from us that we might learn and grow in their presence. We hope to have 
a space for our children to find moral and ethical grounding that will prepare them to live in a world that we ourselves find baffling. We hope that we will leave a worship service feeling somehow different than we did when we went in. We are, indeed, the people of hope. And when I say these things, I don't mean that we sit idly by and expect them to come true on their own. We work for them. During my tenure in this beloved community, I have spent a little bit of time with committee chairs and lay leaders. And by that, I mean a lot of time with committee chairs and lay leaders. I've never had the pleasure of working with such a, a dedicated, smart, and creative group of people, and I have worked in a bunch of churches since I was 13. No one is just hoping that their program area is going to be successful. No. They are working. Working very hard. They have set lofty goals, and they put plans in place to achieve those goals. They are working actively to deepen relationships within the congregation, to express our values in the political stage, to ensure that our future is financially sustainable, to enrich and enliven our worship services, and a thousand other things. We have hope that we can find new and interesting ways of being who we already are. And I think of Higgins, the raindrop. Higgins knew what needed to be done. He jumped in that bucket because he had hope. And he hoped that others would join him, and eventually they did join him, because they also had hope. Otherwise, that would have been a very short story about a raindrop that evaporated in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but because those other raindrops joined in, they were able to accomplish something. Together, we can do more than we can do alone. And that, friends, that is why we keep coming here, week after week, year after year. Sometimes we are Higgins, and we come in with hope to share. And sometimes we are not, and we gain hope and strength from those around us. That is who we are, a people who share and build and live in together, we keep each other from the pathway when times get hard. We work together to bring life and hope to a parched land. May our year together be blessed with an abundance of hope, and let that hope be attended by grace, levity, and hard work. May we be held in love. May we be held in peace. Amen and blessed.